boom, 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 boom. Oh, was I recording? I think so. All right, guys, Sterling here again. Welcome to your notice session, and this is going to be a react session. In the last previous video, we talk about how to get started in creating your first component, which just a function, nothing seems fancy. We also mentioned that these lines of code is required and always have this deep port here to export your component. But there was one issue, not really an issue, but just a better way to do things. This looks a little bit complicated than what we really are expecting. What if there was a way we can write something real that looks like HTML within here well we can okay so what i'm gonna do here i'm gonna write an h2 tag and there you go guys i can write an h2 tag and i can say hello world and if i save this i'm gonna start this uh, uh start the application to start this application again i'm gonna do npm start and this will technically start my entire application And there you go, guys. Uh, it's starting for a second. Just keep wait for it. Let's see. There you go. It's loading, and now we load it. Let's try to change it to something new. Let's try to change it to welcome to my app. Okay, cool. Let's try this out. Let's see, and if that works, yes, it's changing as we go. Except I misspelled app. It should be two. P, and there you go guys we still got the same thing but oh, what if we want to have multiple elements right well if we want to have multiple elements we cannot add this multiple element like this for example if I want to have a P tag if I want to have a P tag I cannot have it you see it's already complaining here which means I cannot have it. even though it was on the next line it's still not possible okay so what about if I had it inside a curly bracket and I put my h2 and then I put my p tag. It's also complaining. What if I add a comma? Well, it doesn't complain. Let's see if this work. Let's say testing and then let's give it a try. And the only one that shows is this testing. The first one does not show up. Why is this? Well, before we can talk about, let's go a little bit one step back, okay? What is JSX? Well, JSX stands for it stands for JavaScript, JavaScript XML. What does that mean? That means you're going to write JavaScript that that's going to be like XML, not HTML, okay? There's something that I would really like to really pay attention to right here. This code that we are writing, it doesn't matter how it looks like. This H2 tag, it looks like HTML, but in reality, it's not HTML. It's a JavaScript code, which is a JavaScript code that looks like that looks like HTML. Instead, it's called XML. Okay, this is very very critical. This is not HTML code. This is JavaScript XML inside React that call JSX. Now the gacha about it is everything needs to be wrapped inside a container. Now it doesn't matter what container you have. You can have a div or you can have a section. It doesn't matter what you have. But the bottom line is everything needs to be wrapped inside a container in case you want to have multiple element. OK, and now the fact that this H2 tag, it's wrapped inside this container. I can now have an additional element that say welcome. That say uh, that say this is great. And now if we check this out, we should be able to see these two elements because they are both wrapped into a new element right here. This is the gacha about using JSX. This is something that you guys should be really, really careful with whenever you're working with JSX. What else can you do? Well, there's a ton of things that you can do with JSX. But the goal behind this is I wanted to kind of show you guys what are the gacha behind it. Okay. Now, there is something else. Let's say for some reason you want to have multiple elements like you want. You don't want the section. You want to have a lot of multiple elements inside of it. Right. Like I want to have multiple elements, not just inside a container. I want them to, you know, probably having another section 
right here like next to it well you can with the new version of react which is react 16 now you can do this instead of having them inside a parentheses be mindful instead of having them inside a parentheses i'm going to remove this parentheses and have it inside an array you see that this is an array and now i can have multiple element i can start having an h2 tag that say hello world and next to this h2 i can pass a comma and I can have a P tag saying, this is my app. And then I can have as many things as I want to just by separating them by comma in case you guys want to have multiple elements next to each other. And we end up having something like this. But there is one issue. What is this issue? If we go inside the console.log, React is going to complain for one thing. It does require for everything that is inside the array to be unique, which means every single one of them needs to have a prop, which we're gonna talk about prop, but just keep that in mind, need to have an attribute called key. What they're referring to, that they want this to have an attribute called key, and that key should be unique. Let's give it for one for now. Let's give the other one another key called two. And let's try that. And there we go, we no longer have a complaining but this is a little bit weird that we have to do to give every single element a key in order for them to be inside the array well there is a better way with react 16 and this is what we're going to cover in the next session something called fragment we're going to learn about react fragment using jsx